Am I the asshole for kicking out my sister after she sabotaged a meeting with a fertility clinic? Eight years ago, my 29 female sister, 32 female, got pregnant. The father wasn't involved and my sister didn't want the baby, but she also couldn't bring herself to terminate or adopt out to strangers. She approached me and my now ex-husband and asked if we would be willing to adopt her child. We weren't sure as we were concerned this would lead to issues down the line but my sister insisted that it wouldn't so we ultimately agreed. Before Lucy was a year old, my husband left us both because my sister lied about Lucy's father. When Lucy was four, I got together with my wife, and we married last year. My sister has said that seeing me and my wife with Lucy, who is now seven, confirms to her that she made the right decision. When I first adopted Lucy, my husband and I told my sister that we wanted multiple children, which she said she was fine with at the time, but now my wife and I are looking into our options and my sister objects. My sister has been staying with us since July because her boyfriend kicked her out. She keeps asking Lucy if she's sure she wants siblings, Lucy has said that she does, and telling us she's worried we won't be able to give Lucy what she needs, and then today happened. We had an online consultation with a fertility clinic to talk about sperm donation. We told my sister about it and asked her to keep an eye on Lucy while we talked. The Wi-Fi went randomly on and off three times during the session, booting us out of the call each time. The third time, my wife went to check it and saw my sister holding the power cord, and Lucy trying to plug it back in. Lucy saw my wife and said, Auntie keeps turning the Wi-Fi off, wife plugged it back in, but we could no longer get into the session and we got an email from the doctor saying that if the Wi-Fi is going to be this bad then maybe we should try a more local clinic as we can't do online consultations. When we confronted my sister she admitted that she wants Lucy to be an only child so she has 100% of our undivided attention, and then said in a sarcastic tone, forgive me for only wanting what's best for my daughter, to which we responded that Lucy isn't her daughter. Things escalated until I said that my sister should go stay with our parents, and my wife drove her to their place. Since leaving a few hours ago, she's apologized and begged to come back, and my parents have also asked me to take her back, but I've refused. They've all called me an arsehole for kicking my own sister out after one argument, because now she's unable to get to work, no car and too far to walk, and she's back in her childhood room while at our place she had a studio to herself behind the house. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. She messed with the Wi-Fi and ruined a consultation that could have given your little family a lovely new addition. She ruined and delayed something that was important to your family. Call the clinic back and explain that the Wi-Fi problem has been solved and you'd like another consultation. Not the asshole. This is grounds for a permanent ban in my opinion, especially with the, my daughter, comment. Info why did the identity of Luce's father matter? Not the asshole. Even if your sister hadn't done the horrible thing she did, it is clear she shouldn't move back in. She clearly still sees Lucy as, her, daughter, with you and your wife as the caretakers rather than her parents. She seems to think she has an equal voice as to the number of kids in your family, when she has no voice at all. 100% not the asshole. Your sister on the other hand is behaving like a spoilt brat chucking a tantrum. Not the asshole. Like so much not the asshole I can't even explain. Shame on your sister. Also mega shame on your parents. It's not a family's personal obligation to take on the problems of other members. Your sister and parents have shown themselves to be selfish and manipulative. Keep them all at arm's length and protect your mental health. Not the asshole. Definitely not. Your sister has lied and has been trying to manipulate you since day one. Also, do not let your parents' guilt trip you into taking her back. So you're an A for not wanting your sister back, but they don't want their daughter back too. It's the pot calling the kettle black. Info can you clarify what she did to break up your marriage? Did she say your former husband was the father? Not the asshole. She's interfering in things that are none of her business and trying to control your lives when she can barely manage her own life. Personally I would go completely no contact with her until she gets therapy to work through her feelings and learn to control herself. Not the asshole. Wow, impressive amount of self-sabotage from sis. Not the asshole, it sounds like no one in your sister's life has held her accountable. A word that is seldomly used nowadays. Nope. 100% not the asshole. Your sister needs to be with your parents because she still has a lot of growing up to do. She can't get her own life in order so she is sabotaging yours. And um, 
Your daughter called her aunt but then your sister called her my daughter. Info. Does your daughter know that she isn't biologically yours? If not, did she hear her aunt call her her daughter? Edit. Spell check sucks. Definitely not the asshole this is some petty childish behavior on your sister's part and your parents shouldn't try to force her back on you after she tampered with what was to be a major life change. If this is how she behaves before a kid is brought into the picture I'd be hesitant to have her around after the kid is born. Not the asshole and after reading also your comment about your ex-husband, your sister has a history of unacceptable and hurtful behaviors that benefit her. The remark about, her daughter, was also completely out of line. These are reasons to go low contact with her, not accept her back in your house. Not the asshole. Holy shit, keep her away from your family. Only a matter of time before she plants bad ideas in your daughter's mind. Not the asshole. This is not one argument. This is a fundamental difference in how you want to live your life, and what your sister expects you to do with your life to please her. Not the asshole. I think for everyone's best interest you should go and see with your sister. She revealed who she really was with that comment. She will never view you as Lucy's mother. Also quick question. You said your husband left because she lied about who the father is. Was it him? NTA your house, your kid, your bodies, your life. Not the asshole. Do not let this woman back in your home. Not the asshole but you need to set boundaries with your sister yesterday. Don't involve her in your child plans and give yourself some space. The fact that she sabotaged an appointment with a clinic is beyond the pale. Also your fears about issues down the line has come true. Maybe seek out a counselor that deals with familial adoption for guidance. Not the asshole what a childish thing for your sister to do if she can't provide for herself then she needs to live with her parents. Also did you explain what happened to your parents? I worry she's twisting the story. I'm 100% curious about her opinion of you not giving Lucy enough of your time if you have siblings for Lucy. Because it somewhat sounds like she resents having had to deal with siblings growing up. As the younger sister, did you get a lot of resentment from her? Was she the, look at me, look at me, child at your big events? As an only child, I'm on Luce's side, give me a sibling. Not the asshole and frankly grt big sis to take a look at her life and see what she can fill it with instead of fiddling around with yours. Not the asshole, but, your sister and ex-husband are. WTF at his weird arrangement for the adoption. And what the fuck at your sister for trying to make parental decisions after she lied and gave up her daughter. And what the fuck at your parents for thinking you're the asshole for kicking her out for trying to sabotage your fertility appointment. All of this sounds toxic. Period. Info. Why would an adoptee's father cause your husband to leave? Oh not the asshole by the way that is some juvenile TVBS. Not the asshole. She is toxic and controlling. Kick her out now and have little to no contact with her. Not the asshole. Jeez. This is some sitcom grade bullshit. This may have already been asked, but how does your sister lying about Luce's father cause your husband to leave you? Not the asshole, your sister doesn't have the right to make this decision. Lucy is your daughter, even your daughter calls her auntie. She is excited about the idea of a sibling and by the sounds of it you have talked to her a fair bit about it. Maybe get in contact with the clinic again and be truthful with them, that a spiteful relative that is no longer around was trying to sabotage the consultation. I'm guessing for you not to be going locally that this place is kind of the best of the best for you. Not the asshole, but don't you have public transportation available for her to get to work? Info. Is it possible that your sister has only changed her mind because it's no longer you and your husband? Does she have problems with your wife? Either way you are not the asshole but I'm wondering at the root of her issues which may mean you need to cut her out further. Not the asshole. Your sister needs to know her place since she made the decision to have Lucy adopted by you. She doesn't get to have a say in your own family because she's not part of it, she's just Lucy's aunt now, and she needs to realize that. But op, I suggest that you also talk to her about it and help her come to terms to the fact that Lucy isn't her child now. If you do let her live with you again, set the boundaries and be firm about them. Best of luck to you and your wife, op. Info. Was your ex-husband the father? Forgive me for only wanting what's best for my daughter. Bullshit. Not the asshole. Your daughter specifically said she wanted siblings. Not the asshole. Your mom is upset because she now has to deal with your sister. If they both think that the argument is nothing, 
petty, etc. Ask them if you could post at the local community for their opinion. Your sister trying to deny you a child. Sabotaging you etc. Your mom has two children, does she not see anything wrong? Although now that I think about it. You are the younger one. Do you remember any favoritism, golden child stuff? As for you sister, she is paying for her actions. Not the asshole. She decided to sabotage the lives of the people literally extending her a kindness by letting her stay with them, she should have foreseen that she'd be kicked out for doing so. Also, only apologizing when she's hit with the consequences, that's gold. She's not sorry she did it. She's sorry she suffered the consequences. Also, bisexual gang. Not the asshole. To call Lucy her daughter is a low blow and tells you how she really feels. She thinks she can have everything with no responsibility. She doesn't get to tell you how to raise your child after you adopted her. Hopefully you guys did this official when you adopted Lucy and not just verbal because looks like your sister thinks she can play dolls with your family, i.e., put all the responsibility on you and tell you how to be, raise a family to her liking, your opinions don't matter to her. You should make sure she knows her place. Not the asshole, if she was that reliant to you then she should have worshipped the ground you walked on, not sabotaged your plans for her own wants. Lucy seems more mature than your sister. I laughed at the part where she readily snitched on her aunt. Sounds like you've got a great wife and kid. Hope it works out. Not the asshole, of course, but I've got to ask, how did your sister lie about Lucy's father? What sort of lie could make someone abandon his family? Just curious. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. She can not make decisions for your life, and can not respect your household and your rules. Contact the doctor again and tell them that the problem has been resolved and hope they will let you in again. Don't let your sister come back, no matter how much everyone complains, she's not welcome, especially since she's confusing your daughter for hers. Not the asshole. Before Lucy was a year old, my husband left us both because my sister lied about Lucy's father. Wait, what? That's odd to say the least. What difference does it make who the bio father is? Not the asshole your sister made it clear how she feels about your family. She seems to believe that she, made, your family and now has control over all your choices. If you do get pregnant, what will she do next, to ensure you're a single child household? She gave up her rights concerning your daughter. Buy your sister a copy of Sims, and tell her to leave you alone. Not the asshole. Forgive me but I smell just a hint of homophobia. She gave up any say she had in Lucy's upbringing when she gave her up for adoption. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I feel for everyone here including your ex, having left under the circumstances described in further comments. Damn. Good luck friend slightly smiling face. You didn't kick her out after just one argument. You kicked her out for sabotaging one of the hugest life-changing events of all time and deciding you cannot have another child. She didn't hide the number to the pizza place because she wanted Chinese. You didn't kick your sister out for, having one argument, she sabotaged a very important medical appointment because she wants to control the way you are raising your daughter. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Sister got herself kicked out by interfering in your private business. This is such a weird situation I feel like no doctor would refuse to see a patient because their Wi-Fi connection isn't great?